But somebody asked, why do we have collabos as a category? Because so many important moments in the history of hip hop are collaborative. That's why, like period, point blank. So many, so many of the, so many of the great songs come from MC and DJ collaborations. So many of our great hip hop records are collaborative records and posse cuts. You know, I think one of hip hop's first early like, you like give a lot people of people flowers for that too. Like Busta huh? Rhymes should get flowers for the fact that. He's such yes. a great collaborator. Method Man, yes. too. You know? Yes. Lil Wayne. No, I mean, but, but, but what I'm saying is that their collaborations, they're not just like collaborations that are important to them in terms of like where they end up falling in their in the canon of MCs. It's important to the culture. Like Buster popping up on that scenario, scenario that's important. On a so, tribe right. album. And when you think about it in that right. time, that's it's kind of unexpected based on their vibe. Right. The symphony... With Cool G rapping Big Daddy Kane at the end, that's important. Yeah. Life's a Bitch with Nas and AZ, important. Yeah. Brooklyn's yeah. Finest, Biggie and Jay-Z, important. Method Man and Red Man, how high? Important. Method Man's so important on so many collaborations. Shadow Box and Ice Cream, yes. how high? I'll be there for you. Cream, pick a, pick a Method Man collaboration that's important. You know, we, we, give, we give Method Man and... You know what? I don't want to say we because I think we've given Method Man his flowers. Critics over that time period, back then especially, used to really give him hell for his lack of solo classic album output. I think two things were because of what his group was doing and what individuals in his group were doing. But people were reluctant to give him his flowers for how well he collaborated with everyone. And there was nobody at that time. If we keep it real, I think Method Man might have been the best collaborator in the 90s. Yes. He might have yes. been because he gives you the oh. hook and everything. I, I mean, about, I was just I was listening to home All home. Together Now by, uh, by uh, Limp Bizkit. He no, no, murdered I was that shit. Say, I was thinking about Biggie, but unfortunately Biggie passed. And then I thought about Mess Hook Game and what Biggie didn't do hook-wise outside of Junior Mafia, really. Yeah. And so you're saying something strong with there. But here's what it really is, is Mike. I mean, you want to know what I thought about, actually? Who's to say Method Man isn't the best all-around rapper in 1995? We got <laughs> evidence everywhere that he's the best rapper in 1995. I know Nas is the him, best in 94. I think him not having an album um, is the Which, indictment. But And, and I want to say something else, too. That's where that F a rap critic, he talk about it, but I live it line comes from. Because if you look at when How High came out, well, How High came out after Return to the 36 Chambers. Mm -hmm. And all the book for Cuban Links have been out and gotten a ton of critical acclaim, both yeah. of those albums. And so when Method's popping back up with the I'll Be There For You remix and the How High remix, he's back in front again. Yeah. And on the radio and then helping Ray and Ghost on radio with ice cream. And yeah. so like, don't tell me collaborations don't matter. That's big. All, all that stuff is Method big. Method Man all on ice stuff. cream, he got to get credit for. Hold on. What's the only collaboration by a rapper on Ready to Die? Straight up. Yo, man, Method shout out to Wolf. OG uh, TK Cole. He sent us a super chat. He said, Coop just made me proud to be uh, 45 years old and an OG. Don't know hip-hop cats listen to Eminem. I used to manage the outsiders, so I know the real deal. Thank Whoa. You. Thank you. Hey, shout out to you, OG TK Cole. Thank I, you. I would like to hear more of that, the real deal. Yeah. Because yeah. honestly, outsiders... Gave him a lot of credibility when it came got, to the rhyming. We just got to keep it funky. The hip hop rhyming, but we got to keep it funky. It's not. It's not hate if we're being honest. If we're being honest about Eminem, that doesn't mean we're hating on him. If we're being honest about Kendrick, that doesn't mean we're hating on him. Like we're about to have to. We're about to have to discuss overly dedicated because guess what? He hasn't gone to work like I've been saying. These other people have that he gets considered up against and it's not fair he don't go to work the way game go to work somebody uh black line says bro said eminem brought dr dre back i'm done laughing my ass off yeah that, snoop brought that? dr dre back <laughs> listen the beginning of the resurgence of dr dre starts with bitch please mm -hmm. 
And for the people who don't know, that wasn't on the Marshall Mathers LP. That was on Top Dog. All I ever wanted was the beat was a G. Ah. Anyway, so um, damn, where were we before that? Oh yeah, Method Man. We so, were yeah, doing all our we rebuttals. gotta we gotta give props for collaborations because yeah. you know <laughs> you gotta get credit for being on Ice Cream in that facet because without Method Man on Ice Cream, I think it's safe to say as incredible as those verses and that beat is, that's not a hit not without same. Method Man on that hook. It's not the same. One of my favorite hooks ever. Actually, you know, I know you say Cream is one of the best hooks ever. I personally like Ice Cream's hook better, in my personal well, opinion. I mean, I'm not going to debate you on cream, it. but on. Yeah. Ice Cream is fundamentally a better rap hook, but not a more important rap hook culturally, and they're comparable hooks. Cream's more important, too, Mike. Like, it's the importance part of it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because here's the thing. People aren't aren't walking around saying, watch these rap niggas get all up in your guts, even though it's way more clever. <laughs> um, right. Caramel Taco Deluxe. Every yeah. time they, you know what? Somebody did cream. quote that. Yeah, Rocky but it's, Rocky it's not Rocky. like Mike. It's Cream Mike. I forgot Come what it was. No, no. Cream is iconic. But cream. I personally I mean, like the ice iconic. cream hook better. No, like like on a bar on a bar to bar level, Mike, the ice cream hook is actually way better. Like, yeah. I like the beat to Ice Cream better than Cream too, And we're talking about sp splitting hairs now. I'm not saying anything is like... If I heard no, both of those I get what you're saying side about the Ice side. Cream beat being better. No, I get what the... They're playing with a little bit more money around that time. A little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more. 